Kara. So I just want to go over with you um, a couple of things that you will get in the packet that I sent you in the mail. I hope you have it today. Um, sent it out on Friday morning, so hopefully you have it by today, Tuesday. Um, and the game that I want to, and don't go through all of these things and think you have to do it all today. You don't. You don't. Do it as I introduce it to you, okay? So everything else, just toss aside. I want you to take out this game right here called Shake and Spill. What you need for Shake and Spill is a cup and the red and yellow um, chips that I put in your packet in the little baggie. Okay, and this is a pretty fun game. Um, it the the purpose of playing this game is so you can um, figure out all of the different ways to make numbers. Okay, you will also need a red and a yellow crayon. So you need a cup. You need the chips and a red and a yellow crayon, and maybe a pencil or something to write with. <clears throat> so this is the cover. I wish mine was stapled. Let me all staple it so I can. Uh, I have everything at home that I do at school. So, okay. So this is the cover, and you open it up, and this is Shake and Spill Three. How do I know it's Shake and Spill Three? Well, what do you see all over the page? Threes. There's a three, 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 there's a three. Okay? So this is what you're gonna do. This is my uh, master copy, so I can't write on it, but you can still listen very closely how we play this game, and you should have no problem at all. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take three chips because we're working with the number three you're gonna take three chips and put them into your cup okay and then you're gonna do what it says shake and spill so you're gonna shake the three chips and then spill them onto your table without getting the chips all over the place okay and then you're gonna line up your chips you can, you can uh, line them up right in front of you, and then you're going to color in with your red and yellow crayon what it is that you spilled out. So if you spilled out two red and one yellow, you're going to color in two red and one yellow. If you, color, if you dumped out two yellow and one red, you're going to color in two yellow and one red. If what you dumped out was all red, then you're going to color them all red okay so whatever you dump out you copy right here by coloring in your chips that tells me that this is what you spilled okay then down here there's an empty space for you to write a number well this word right here says red red so let's say you spilled three red okay Three red. One, two, three red. So you would put three red and zero yellow, because that says yellow. And so three red and zero yellow make three. Okay? So three plus zero is three. Now say you spilled out two red and one yellow. Well, then you would simply write that in here. Two red and one yellow make three. Okay? Now, on the next side, the only thing that changes is this word and and that word make. The and changes into a plus sign and make changes into an equal sign like this. See that? So again, let's say you spilled all three yellow, okay? So it's yellow, yellow, yellow. So how many red? Zero red plus three yellow equals three. So the and and the make changed to a plus sign 
and an equal sign. So that's what I would like you to work on today. Just work on the threes. Next time we do Shake and Spill, oh, it will be fours. And then that will mean that instead of using three chips, you'll use one, two, three, four chips. And you'll shake them, you'll spill them, you'll color in what you spilled, and then write in the numbers that match whatever you spilled. You maybe had two red and two yellow. So you would say two red and two yellow makes four. Two plus two makes four. Okay, so this is a pretty fun game just to get you really, really, really um, acquainted with all the different ways to make numbers, okay? So that is Shake and Spill, and that is what I would like you to play today, and I would like you to do the threes. And I know threes are easy and kind of repetitive, but this book goes all the way to ten, okay? All the way to ten. So, it gets a little trickier as we go. But again, it's going to let you know all the different ways to make numbers. Okay? So, that is your job. Shake and spill. I'm pretty sure you're going to have um, that in the mail today. And I talked to mom. And you're going to plant different seeds, just in case the ones that you have are duds. Um... We were pretty sure that some of our seeds were duds, and then we came into school today, and a couple more had germinated. Boy, did they take a long time, but they are kind of older seeds, so that's why. Um, but they did germinate, so yours still might, but go ahead and plant some new ones, and just do the same thing that we did before. Plant them. Give them a couple of days in the wet soil and in the sunlight. Let them absorb, draw, you know, how they grew, how they changed. Don't forget to draw your seeds before planting them, okay? Because I want to know what they looked like before you planted them. And then I want to see what they look like after, a couple days after you planted them. And then a couple days after that, I want to see how they change even more. So you're going to draw that every time. And um, that is your job for today. And there will be an activity for you to complete on Seesaw. And I think that's it. I don't want to overwhelm you. Okay. And write me a sentence about how you planted a seed and what kind of seed it is. Okay? All right. So have fun with Shake and Spill. Maybe record a couple of uh, rounds. Not every round, but record a couple of minutes of you playing it and post it to Seesaw so I can see how you're doing. All right? All right. I'll see you later. Bye.